I want to be a teacher because I really, really enjoy biology. Um, I get really excited about it and I want to share that excitement with other kids and try to get them interested in it as well. I want to be a teacher because I enjoy the field of math and science and I appreciate the opportunity to be able to teach that um, in, in interesting and creative ways to students. You Can Teach is a really special program. It's uh, uh, what we do at the University of Kansas is a replication of what they do at UT Austin. Uh, in that program we really emphasize STEM degree majors also being certified to teach so there's a real content enhancement for You Can Teach. They're outstanding performers because they are trained deeply in the discipline. They are best able to convey the career opportunities for students. The heart and soul of what we're doing in You Can Teach centers around two of our classes, research methods and project-based instruction. Those classes help teachers engage students in doing science. We're really given the tools and um, the ownership of investigating what we want, and it's that was one of the most positive experiences I had of, you know, I'm in control of my own learning and I learned so much more that way. We have this underlying philosophy that engaging in science is a better way of learning science. Engaging in mathematics is a better way of learning mathematics. So it's not just knowledge, it's the application of that knowledge to meaningful, authentic work. We're really interested in increasing scientific literacy in the community. My lab does this at the elementary, middle school, and the high school level. And Sonia's participation in GK12 does an excellent job of really kind of showing the, the research that we do and why that's important. I'm partnered with an actual uh, you Can Teach alumni, Camden Burton, at Olathe Northwest High School, and we've integrated research questions directly from my lab into his coursework for his students. Well, basically we worked on the characterization of TEP3 in Drosophila melanogaster, which is the fruit fly. Um, we were comparing wild-type fruit flies with a mutant. My portion of the project was to build the virtual gene diagram of the TEP3 gene um, and label all the coding regions of that gene. Learned a lot of things from Sonia that maybe we had covered in class, but then she would go into greater detail because of the specifics of the project. You know, it's one thing when you read something in a book, and it's another thing when you are actually doing it yourself. You're actually applying the stuff that uh, you've been learning all these years. It also just helps them to appreciate um, you know, the scientific method. So when they see things in the popular press, they're better able to really interpret that and be able to, to decide whether it's, it's well done or not. And these same concepts that we use in science, the scientific method, really can be applied in so many different aspects of life. It just makes them you know, more critical thinking people as they go on in their life. I've learned quite a bit about communicating, making science and research accessible, uh, ways to really articulate the importance of basic foundational concepts that link all science fields together um, to kind of give students a framework to start answering questions and looking at the world. My favorite part of the You Can Teach program is that it Put you in a classroom right away so that you really get that in the classroom experience that is really helpful as far as knowing what a classroom is going to be like and why you're actually doing it. My favorite part about the You Can Teach program is how much all the teachers that I work with seem to care and honestly want me to be as good as I can be for the students that I'm going to work with in the future. This is a really exciting experiment in how to prepare teachers. Uh, we know STEM literacy is abysmal in this country. Through the UTeach model have been able to achieve dramatic results in teaching and learning of STEM at all levels. The You Can Teach program is elevating uh, the, the reputation and quality of, of STEM, uh, STEM majors in our university. Uh, and it's doing so essentially by putting the best possible teachers out into our secondary schools in the region. The You Can Teach program does an excellent job of modeling what um, lifelong learners should be. 
Um, so they helped me discover that in myself before I ever walked out and started teaching students. STEM education is really about becoming a critical thinker, a, uh, a flexible, adaptive thinker who can look at new problems and solve them quickly, know how to approach them, solve them, and come up with a solution quickly. It's very empowering. The future for UCAM Teach is really unlimited. 